And we are exactly as we left off on Tuesday here in the Valor Lakefront area. And I will say I actually did run around and deal with berries and stuff like that since Tuesday night, but I did that all off screen because it's kind of boring to watch. Now we're now in Route 222. New territory. Who do I have out front? Good Ball Eater. Ball Eater is going to be my main hope against the upcoming gym. Because God help me. <laughs> I love how this guy looks in his chibi form. Alright, you should have a Luxray. Oh, Luxia. Alright. Good evening, Plasma Dragon. I don't have Hyper Cutter, do I? Yep, I don't have... I miss Hyper Cutter on Splurb. Hey there, Swifty! Good to see you, too. Level 43, these things are competent. There you go, Luxio is gone. See, I remembered him having a Luxray in Platinum. Alright, there we go. The monotony was broken, but at the cost for you of $7,052. Hello there, Derp. Good evening to you. Yeah, you go rest at the hotel. I've had quite enough of you. I know! I'm so confused! I have no idea what I'm doing here! Oh, look, a full restore. You do see something that is not Dialga. I have found shiny Dialga. I am, uh, actually playing the game now. I am very surprised. I Yes, I, I escaped the time loop. If you want the actual... so. First of all, if you want the actual clip where I find Shiny Dialga, and I will say, I almost reset exactly what I was worried about. I almost did. But I did not reset, and I have now... Okay, I'll, I'll show you. I'll, th those of you who are not here, I will show you my, my, my little buddy. Isn't he just adorable? Meet Gug Yagaba, the shiny Dialga, who took me over 40 hours to find. I, that is 40 hours I will not be getting back, but good god. <laughs> yes. Rachel, o Rachel Ossie, Rachel Ozzy, hello there. I don't think I've seen you before. Good to see you. Uh, I thought so. It's a slight misspelling of what that thing kept yelling at me for 40 hours, but honestly... I'm not unhappy about that. Also caught Cheesehead and Blueberry um, and set free the third one, which I have not decided to catch yet. Uh, but two out of three of the Lake Trio are mine. So if you did miss last stream, you actually did miss quite a bit. Um, but if you missed the streams from like the weeks before that, you really didn't miss a ton because all I was doing was hunting for Dialga. Uh, I'll deal with planting berries here off screen, but I, I do love planting berries. Uh, and I think... Is this a new one? Qualot Berries. Yes, those are some quality berries. It was a lot of legendary action. And... Like I said, if you want to see the actual clip... Where I find... Or about, like, 30 seconds from when I find this thing... Um, go check the Bulba Garden Twitter account. Because Snowy clipped it. And... You'll see that I very nearly did actually reset the game on this shiny legendary, and that would have been horrendous. So my internet... I think my internet's bad tonight. Earthquake! Actually, acrobatics would be more powerful. What the hell am I thinking? Although, what the hell are you thinking using double kick on a defensive wall that resists it? It... it... look. It almost gave me a heart attack. 
both because I wasn't actually expecting to see Shiny Dialga, and because I came that close to a reset. All right, Ball Eater up to level 48. Solid attack, defense, and speed on this thing, although I don't think he's going to be outspeeding a Raichu, which is unfortunate, given what I know about Volkner's Raichu. The heal ball didn't work on Giratina. I didn't catch it in... I, I didn't catch Giratina in this game. I caught Dialga. Why did it work, though, Swifty? I'm curious. These guys look like some water-type trainers, so I don't think Ball Eater is a good idea. Uh... Da, da, da. Hmm. I want a special attacker, but I don't have one of those. Wait, what are Queen 12.5%'s moves? You do still have Power Gem. Okay. If there are any Gyarados out there, that'll take care of that. Wait, did I catch... Did I catch Giratina in a heal ball also? If I did, that's complete coincidence. Oh yeah, I d okay, so I caught Azelf in a heal ball in less than... F yeah, no, that that was... Unexpected. Hello, Snowy. Um, so why did it work on Dialga here? Okay, so I have a question, and it's a purely hypothetical question at this point, but I've got Cheesehead and I've got Blueberry. What the hell are we going to call, um... Oh, wow, that hurt. Uh, what the hell are we going to call Mesprit? It's got to be another kind of food, but it can't be cheese or berries. Look, Snowy, it's not that you're boring, it's that your entrance is extremely predictable. Pink milk. That sounds bad. Also, milk is too similar to... to, uh... cheese. Hmm. Gerasace, take out this Gyarados. Pink donuts might work. You know, Swifty, that's an interesting theory. Yes, yeah, six is greater than two. Crunch. I could have used waterfall, but crunch. There we go. Queen 12.5% levels up. And Fisher Alec is defeated. He's all washed up. Alright. No, it can't be another berry, though. I don't want it to be another berry. I don't want it to be another dairy product. I, I like the idea of calling it Pink Donut. Put Garasace out front. Have it defeat the other Gyarados and, des and get its promotion to Garasiete, because that's long since overdue. Tomato might work. Anyway, until I catch the thing, um, it's it's purely hypothetical. But start start thinking about foods that that will that will name Mesprit after. I'll waterfall this thing. Sushi. <laughs> Call it sushi. <laughs> oh, you guys are great. Well, of course you are. Your name is Enchilada, after all, isn't it? <laughs> Always thinking about food, because you're Enchilada.
Down goes Remoraid. Come on, where are them other Gyarados at? I'd call it... There we go, there's another Gyarados. You might have intimidated me, but I'll still crunch you down to size. <laughs> I Look, if I was named after a food product, or, or if, I, if I had a name that was a food product, I would very much probably just get hungry when I said my name too. Or get hungry whenever I thought about my name. Critical hit, there we go. Well, I had a bird named Kasha. Kasha is a food. Speaking of, Kasha levels up and so does Garasace. Garasace may be getting that promotion to Garas Garasiete before the next episode. Damn, that attack stat is high. Whoa! Brave bird! Okay, what do I want to get rid of for this, or do I want to get rid of? That is a hundred twenty percent, or a hundred twenty base power. That is double an aerial ace. That recoil. Oof. All right, we'll do it. If Kasha can be brave, so can I. Finneon, you're coming at me with a... Is that Finneon shiny, or is that just me? That Finneon doesn't look right. No, Empoleon is the best evolution. You're using Rain Dance. You're using Rain Dance! You know what? I may just promote him straight to Gera Ocho after this. Mostly, probably, because I can't spell Siete properly. <laughs> Alright, you are defeated, sir. I defeated you, you fell for my Gyarados hook, line, and sinker. More fishermen! You plan on sinking me? No. I'm gonna sink you. I'll even throw the kitchen sink at you. Objectively, you're wrong, Snowy. Glaceon resists the least, and is super effective against... ...only one other evolution. Waterfall, then. Glaceon is, is fine. Glaceon is fine. Glaceon is 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 not a bad EV. Oh yeah, this is how you can see Feebas without having to go fish for it for 50 hours. I'll still destroy it with a waterfall, mind you. But look, Gla I, I've got no problems with Glaceon. It's Sylveon that I have problems with. Oh look, another Finneon. Crush that with an earthquake. I'm not intimidated this time. Sylveon is like the worst evolution. I do not like it at all. This guy didn't have a Gyarados. Oh well. Do you have a Gyarados? Espeon is great! Espeon is the best evolution. Okay, fine. Espeon is not technically the best evolution if we apply the same standards. I, look, I will fight Gyarados with my Gyarados. I am fighting fire with fire. Or... Water Dragon with Water Dragon, I suppose. Which is the opposite of fighting fire... I'm fighting water with water, damn it! There we go. Garas... Garasace needs his promotion. And because he's defeating so many other Gyarados... I, I, I think I will just go straight to Gara Ocho. Double promotion. 
Rain Dance. Why the hell are you using Rain Dance? Although, to be fair, now that you have used Rain Dance, you fool, this not very effective waterfall is going to act as though it's normally effective. And that'll do more damage than Crunch will. Kaboom. Tramontina, level 48. Swords Dance! Whoa! Alright, what am I... Oh, duh, I'm getting rid of focus energy for that. Good god. Why get myself set up for critical hits when I could instead, like, double my attack stat? Alright, we got this. Another Gyarados. Yeah, you've been intimidated twice. I don't care. Smash it. Smash it with a waterfall! Oh, no, you're... <laughs> Your waterfall didn't work, you buffoon. That's just what you get. That's just what you get. I am seeking a fight. Look, I seek a fight every episode that I'm not actually... Well, okay, I was technically seeking a fight when I was battling against Sh uh, Dialga, or at least fighting Dialga, or resetting for Dialga, it was just a matter of what type of fight I was seeking. I was not seeking a fight with any old Dialga. I wanted a fight with a special Dialga. Vitos Bandos, if that... Uh, I, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Thank you for the follow. And for watching this hilarious Gyarados on Gyarados action. There we go, Ali Capona, level 49. Remorade. You think a Remorade is going to stop me? You think a Remorade is going to stop me? Done. Bye. Even two, er uh, two Intimidates, and you fall to an Earthquake. There we go, Fisher Cole. I know how you lost. My Gyarados is superior to yours. That's why mine is Gyarasace, and yours are merely Gyarados. You got a Gyarados of your own medicine. Also, I can surf here. I don't remember if there's actually anything worthwhile doing on this water, but... I can surf here. I got repels. I should have repels. Oh, hey! I was right. New berry. Super repel! Da-da-da-da-da-da! Put a little cape on it. That's what makes it super. Oh, right! I think there's, like, items or some such that I can get without needing rock smash if I go over here and surf. Well, there's also patches of grass, but... Pretty sure there's a couple of items hanging around here. Like in this corner here. Uh, like in this... Oh, I'm standing in the corner. Uh, is there no item in this corner? Snowy, we've already determined you know nothing about what is illegal in whatever states. There's got to be a reason for having this patch of... Oh, I see. There's something over here? Is there literally nothing over here? Like, why does this place exist? I, I am so confused. Well, okay, enough of that. Let's go to where I'm actually relatively certain there are items, which is up here. Uh, no, you are not an item. Stop rolling around in the grass, Kasha. That, that, that seems like... Are there no items here? Wait a minute, then why the hell does this place exist? There we go, a jar of honey. Well, that's still disappointing. <sighs> this place does not have a right to exist if it does not give me items. Smash! Alrighty. 
That's a good question, Swifty. Unfortunately, just B barrel. Oh. Well, that guy won't battle me. Look, Snowy, I do have the dowsing machine. I don't deny that. The problem is the dowsing machine sucks in this game. And it is incredibly cumbersome to use. Uh, Tramantina. No. For a second there, I thought the trainer was telling me, do you want to use another one? And I was very confused. Uh, non-aquatic Pokemon that can learn Surf. Hydreigon? Uh, Pikachu? Uh, Rhydon? Nidoking? Nidoqueen? Actually, X-Scissor is not my powerful move. Wing Attack is. I keep forgetting that. Pokemon is about making sure that kids don't steal my money. Because I steal their money first. Also, it's technically not stealing, it's gambling. Which doesn't make it all that much better. Especially since, uh... Also, this is not... Yeah, okay. Well, look, it, 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 I, I'm not worried about stealing their money. If... If I beat them in a battle, they don't deserve their money. And again, this this is all about competitive uh, Pokemon battling. Uh, big Pokemon wanted. Let's see what you want. Uh, hey! Team Galactic still has ads on the TV, despite the fact that I... Wait. No! Show me about Team Galactic! No, tell me about my Platinum style. Giant Remoraid. I refuse. First of all, I can't use Remoraid in this. Second of all, no. Alright, let's actually switch Tramantino with Ball Eater, because I'm pretty sure the person in here loves Pikachu. Oh, I hate this! I hate this! In Diamond and Pearl, you couldn't tell which Pikachu was the kid versus which Pikachus were actual Pikachu. But now I can tell. Gesundheit. 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 What? Oh my god, it's the legendary Pikachu! Also, Gesundheit. Yeah, see, I knew someone in here liked Pikachu. And that thing is no match for an earthquake. Go! Quake the earth! Bring the house down! Because I'm actually in a house right now using Earthquake. You can see the wooden floor, right? You see the wooden floor. I am breaking it with Earthquake. And yet it's perfectly fine the second after the attack is done. Boom! Bye-bye, Pikachu. Ball Eater, level 49. Excellent. Again, that's a pretty solid attack, defense, and speed, especially considering this thing is not fully evolved. Aw, poor kid. I don't think... I, I, I feel like it's not going to matter how much practice you get, kid. You will never be an actual Pikachu. Snowy, I never said I was a good guy. In fact, you know I was trying to help Cyrus to rewrite reality. Until I realized Cyrus was just incompetent. Then I tried to take matters into my own hands, 
but apparently owning Dialga does not mean that I can rewrite reality, because it's only the Pokémon of time and not the Pokémon of space. So Cyrus was wrong. Dialga finally sparkled, MCH. I will show you. I will show this off as many times as I damn well feel like, because I frickin' deserve to. My, sh my, my, my shiny buddy. Behold! The mythical Pokémon of time! And yet I still can't rewrite reality. I can time travel, though. There we go. Gotta actually use the, uh, stick for that. And it's just another jar of honey. Good god. All that work for just a jar of honey. What do we got here? You give me an item. Ah, yes. TM-56 Fling. Well, I don't generally have my Pokémon hold much of anything in this game, so... Hey there, Mr. Shenyu! Honey can be very sweet, yes. Oh look, I have to use Cut. I am so glad I don't have to carry HM slaves with me. That is one massive improvement that this game has over its predecessors. Carbos! Good for buffing speed. Aw, goofy expression. You know, Kasha the Cockatiel would very often look at me funny, especially when I was doing something silly. Or when she thought I was doing something silly anyway. Now that policeman would fight us if it was about half an hour later. Snowy, honey is fine. I like honey. Yeah, see, you, you, you won't fight me now, but if it was like half an hour from now, you would fight me. Alright, if I can do this as a double battle... Well, first of all, definitely don't want you out front, so who am I gonna... Swap in Tramantina, and then who else do I have? I'm not diabetic, so doesn't affect me. Oh, right! Helium! I forgot, I have helium I can use. And Dr. Eggman? Gerasace and Ball Eater can go into the party for now, or go into the box for now. Because I need to raise a couple more Pokemon that are only level 48. There we go. The box is available from anywhere, yes! No, literally no need to check the PC. I can I can check that wherever I am. And it's not even an item in this game. Like, I thought in, in Sword and Shield it was an item. But in this game, no. It's just, it's available right from the start. Oh, we'll ride upon the sea in a boat, just you and me. That's the way of the sailor, way of the sailor. You sing too. Well, Mr. Shenyu, you heard me sing, so that's the, the best lullaby I've got. I hope I didn't make your ears bleed. Alright. X... No, not x Scissor. x Scissor is not my strong attack. Wing Attack is my strong attack. And Helium. Thunderbolt that man tyke. Yes, you do still have to heal Pokémon in Pokémon Centers, despite being able to access your box from anywhere, or probably because you can access your box from anywhere. Also, wow, Swifty, you are making significant progress. Plasma, please don't have Snowy bite me just because I sang. I don't appreciate it. Then again, you probably didn't appreciate my singing.
that's disgusting, Snowy. Don't have don't don't do that. Plasma, stop biting me. I I I, I feel betrayed. I feel very betrayed that you bit me. Uh. Oh, right. I actually have to specify. Walk together again. There we go. All right. Another water guy, eh? Well, I can switch helium out to the front, then. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. I do not want to walk with that thing, no. It'll kidnap me. It'll kidnap me. There we go, much better. Swap Pokemon is the third option, and I forget that sometimes. There we go. Snowy, there's a difference between wanting to eat honey and wanting to be covered in honey. I should not have to tell you this. Seriously. Just because something is good to eat does not mean it is good to slather yourself in. And I never th Yes, honey is kosher, for God's sakes. Anyway, I never thought that I would have to say that in stream. Or anywhere, for that matter. I thought it was just common sense, and congratulations, Serzaki, level 49. When are you going to learn Hurricane, Serzaki? Machoke. Well, I can Shadow Ball that. Helium is actually a pretty good... Look, Snowy, I don't come to a Bulba Garden stream expecting sanity, because I'm the one who is streaming. But that doesn't mean that I expect the kind of nonsense that you were th that you were discussing not that long ago. Like, okay, you can have your opinion on honey. You can, and I can disagree with it. It's it literally food is a matter of taste. Oh God, Gastrodon! I don't have anything that will work well on Gastrodon. Oh god, I don't have anything well that will work on Gastrodon. Um... That's going to be a problem against Cynthia, isn't it? Like, Gastrodon is normally like a piece of cake because- No! No grass Pokémon! Tropius is not a- Tropius is not available in this game. Or, beforehand. You're, I should say, before the National Dex. Good God, this, this, this Gastrodon truly is one of the greatest foes that I have ever battled. And I battled against Dialga, the, the mythical Pokemon of time. Truly, this is a formidable opponent. But yeah, no, I don't have grass moves. Hey there, Starbla! Alright, the whole crew's going up to, uh, to level 49. Glub, glub, glub. Wait a minute, hold on, Swifty. You said you were episode 50, didn't you? Good god, that's my original battle with Cynthia. Oh my god, that, that, that battle still gives me nightmares. Yes, Driftblim. Driftblim is a flying type, so I can use it. 